Hi everyone, it's Terry here from NutsAboutStamping.com. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project and I'm really excited to introduce to you a new stamp set that just arrived yesterday at my house. It's called Dashing Deer and it comes with a set of corresponding framelits so you can get this as a bundle and save yourself 10%. This is my go-to set for Christmas this year for my Christmas cards. The moment I saw this bundle in the holiday catalog, I knew I had to have it because I just think it's amazing. So let's play with it and I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful Christmas card. My card base is going to be Mossy Meadow. I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half and I've scored it on the four and a quarter mark. That's going to be my card base. To that, I'm going to add a layer of very vanilla. But before I do, I'm gonna do some stamping on it. I always stamp before I adhere, just in case I make a mistake. I'm going to choose Cherry Cobbler. Cherry Cobbler and Mossy Meadow are my two favorite Christmas combo colors. My second favorite is Real Red and Old Olive. I absolutely love those four colors for Christmas. Although there's a new green in town, it's called Shaded Spruce. It might be competition for Mossy Meadow. All right, so I've taken the little border image from the Dashing Deer stamp set, and I've stamped it at the top and the bottom of my layer. Now to that, I'm going to add a piece of designer series paper. Let me get my snail. The designer series paper is called Festive Farmhouse. I've used this paper before on other videos. I particularly like it because it has very vanilla and whisper white. So you can sort of do more vintage Christmas cards this year by choosing the very vanilla. Or you can do more traditional Christmas cards this year using Whisper White. Same pack of cardstock. All right, I'm going to attach this layer to the front of my card. Just trying to make sure that I have about the same amount at the top and at the bottom. I'm not gonna to be too particular about it. Doesn't matter that much to me. All right, so now let's take this die. It's this reindeer die from the Detailed Deer Framelits Pack and let's die cut with it, shall we? Before the video began, I took a piece of scrap mossy meadow cardstock and I lined up, I think I lined up, uh, maybe not. No, there we go. It goes this way. I lined up the deer. <laughs> I don't have very good visual perception, do I? So I lined up the deer on a scrap piece of mossy meadow cardstock, and then I just took a pair of scissors and I cut around it. Then I took the mossy meadow cardstock and a piece of the multi-purpose adhesive sheet, and I cut around it so it would be the right size. I peeled off one side of the adhesive sheet and adhered it to the Mossy Meadow cardstock. And now I'm ready to die cut. My sandwich is the magnetic platform, the bottom standard cutting pad. I've got my detailed deer die on top of the cardstock. Now I'm gonna put the top standard cutting pad on and I'm gonna run it through. And I'm gonna run it back. Not because I need to, but just so that you can see. Now the reason that I use the multi-purpose adhesive sheet is that when I take this out away from the die, it is going to create a sticker that's just going to be so easy to adhere to my card. Just want to be really careful taking this out. There we go. First time you use something, sometimes it gets a little particular. There we go. 
All right, so I'm gonna bring in my paper piercing tool and I'm going to poke out, oh, maybe I don't need to. Maybe I can use my fingernails, yep. All right, so my deer is ready to adhere to my card front, but before I do that, I'm going to create a phrase and I'm going to do that using my Mossy Meadow ink. Again, everything is color coordinated. And I have from the Dashing Deer stamp set, this phrase which says, happiest Christmas wishes. So let's stamp that onto this very vanilla. I had to hold my breath and stick my tongue out of my mouth a little bit, make sure it came straight. And then I'm going to use my paper snips, which are over here, and I'm going to create a banner. So I've shown you how to create a banner before, but maybe this is the first time you're watching this video. And if it is, thank you very much for finding my channel, and I hope that you'll subscribe and like the video if you do. All right, so when I create a banner, I cut in from the center. I kind of eyeball what's about the halfway point. And once I cut in, then I've got a marker or a guide for which to cut the angle piece in so that it's a perfect banner shape. I also have dies that are banners, but not necessary to use them this time. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is adhere this beautiful deer. Let me just wonder, wonder how I want to do this. I think actually I'm going to adhere my banner on first. And I'm going to adhere it down here. You could see that I kind of measured a little bit with my eyes how this was going to look. And now I can have my deer kind of flying over top of my banner. It's always fun to play with layouts and overlap elements on your card. All right, so let's put him down like this and then add the deer like so. Now, if I wanted to, to bump up my card a little bit, I could put a strip of cherry cobbler here and a strip of cherry cobbler up here. And I think I'm gonna do that. I think it just makes the card look a little bit more professional. So I'm gonna use a little bit of snail adhesive. It's a good thing I didn't stick that antler right down flat. Okay, now I can put it down there. And then this one, I'm gonna put at the bottom. like so. So my card's taking shape really nicely. And then one final detail that I thought would be really fun is I have these little stars. So what I can do is pick up one of the stars from the sheet and attach it to the nose of the deer. And I wonder if it would be nice to have one. Maybe so, let's try. Let's put a second star right there. And there we go. My Christmas card is all ready. Now inside I would add a layer of very vanilla as well and stamp a Christmas greeting on it, but for now, you can see what the outside of the card's going to look like. And don't forget to create a corresponding envelope. I could use the same phrase, or I could um, also on the inside of the card, there's two phrases, remembering you this season with warm thoughts and a wish for everything merry. 
and with appreciation for all you do and for your year-round spirit of giving. So there's lots of possibilities to design the inside of my card and the envelope. For a complete listing of everything I used for this card and a list of all the measurements for the cardstock layers, please head to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While you're on my blog, make sure you're a newsletter subscriber. I have a 12 weeks of Christmas campaign happening right now. Week one's already gone out, so you don't want to miss getting week two through week 12 with Christmas card cards ideas, gift ideas, and bags and tags ideas that you won't see anywhere else. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. I hope you create something beautiful today too. Bye for now.